Good morning, friends. Today's practice, so we have a nice, gentle, deep release. So almost a yin, not quite, definitely not a vinyasa. We're holding each pose for a few breaths, a breath to a few, to really melt into the posture, open up our bodies, and let ourselves release. Any physical tension, maybe any mental tension, if we've had a rough week, rough few days, or if we just want to relax, we don't wanna be so fiery. You know, sometimes we need a gentle movement. So whenever you're ready, we will be beginning in, be beginning in child's pose. So moving gently into that space, whatever that feels like for you here. Keeping the knees together, allowing the forehead to just come to the mat. Taking a nice deep breath, allowing the arms to be soft, <sighs> knowing that you're here. Doing something good for your body. It doesn't have to be super intense. And taking the hands behind the back, interlacing the fingers and pulling the hands almost like overhead. So we're opening up the shoulders here, wringing out the tension. Breathing nice and deep. Maybe rocking a little bit on the forehead, massaging. And on your next exhale, gently releasing the hands, letting them float to the mat. Above the head, palms down, palms onto the mat. Reaching the fingertips forward, getting a nice stretch. And on the exhale, gently lifting the chest, rolling the back, gliding the fingertips towards the hips. Feeling a nice roll, ending with the shoulders. Hello world. <laughs> Rolling the shoulders back. Mm, mm. Inhale the arms above the head and exhale, letting the right come to the mat, reaching over with the left. Opening up through the side body. And sweeping that arm around to switch sides. Keeping the chest nice and lifted. Sweeping that arm in front, walking the fingertips out doing a little wrist stretch. So starting with the backs of the hands on the mat, just kind of moving the hips a little bit, just to feel the sensation in the wrists. Warming them up, maybe drawing little circles, maybe taking the palms to the mat, splaying the fingers to the sides kind of warming up the wrist that way. Taking gentle care with our whole body today, even the extremities, the ones that we don't pay enough attention to. And walking the hands out, coming into our tabletop position. So finding our foundation, spreading the fingers apart and inhaling for cow, dropping the belly, lifting the gaze. Exhale, round through the back, tucking the chin, feeling the extension in the spine, the rounding. Inhale. Making these movements as big or as small as you would like. Wherever your energy level is at. We're working with the body, not against it. Taking one more round. Evening out before meeting back in neutral spine. 
Grounding through the left foot, raising the right leg behind, bending the knee, keeping the hips square, pointing the toes up to the ceiling, nice and strong through the fingertips. And then on an exhale, we're gonna bring it knee to nose. Inhale, lifting it up, taking the gaze. And exhale, knee to nose, crunching it in. One more time, inhale, squeezing the glutes, and exhale, knee to nose. This time, extending that right leg long and drawing little circles with the ankle. Just going one way and then the other. Before bringing that leg back in, and raising the left behind us. Big inhale and exhale, crunch, knee to nose. Inhale, sending the leg up high, lifting the gaze. And exhale, crunch. One more time. Exhale. Straightening the leg, rolling out the ankle. <sighs> Taking deep breaths throughout this whole practice. The breath will help you release. Taking that leg back into tabletop, tucking the toes, sending the hips up, walking the fingertips out, downward facing dog. Pedaling out the feet a little bit here. Maybe taking the left heel to the mat and raising the right, really deepening the sensation in the left calf. And switching sides, lifting up the left heel, sending the hips to the sky, really extending through the spine. and finding our static downward facing dog. Gazing at the hands, lifting the right leg, bending the knee, taking it to the outside of the hands. Coming into this little lizard lunge here. <sighs> Having both of the hands flat on the mat, really sending the pelvis down into the mat, <laughs> feeling the nice deep stretch in the hip flexor, that left hip crease. Holding here, taking deep breaths. One more inhale. Exhale, sink a little bit deeper. And then grounding through that left hand, peeling the right up through the chest, to the sky for a little revolved high lunge. We can take that right foot in if that feels a little bit better. And then circling the arm around, coming into a low lunge, so dropping the left knee, planting the right hand, reaching the left over by the knee, so we're getting a nice side body stretch. We can have the back toes tucked or untucked to Yogi's choice. Mm. Noticing what this feels like. Spiraling the chest open, we're nice and lifted, not hunching over, not collapsing into the hip. And circling that arm around, lifting the back knee, coming into Skandasana. So turning the left toes up, holding here. Nice, strong, active legs. Maybe we take a bind if we would like. Left arm coming behind the back. We can even sit down on the bum for this bind, lifting the chest even more. Gently release, taking that right leg, crossing it over the left. So we're finding a little twist here, taking that left arm over, right comes behind, 
Gazing behind us. Sending our awareness to the belly and our lower back. And taking that left hand around, we're gonna be kickstanding off this leg to turn back over. Coming back into downward facing dog. <laughs> Raising the left leg and sending it to the outside edge of the hands. I don't know why I'm singing. <laughs> Could be a new trend. We can sing yoga cues instead of um, speaking them. <laughs> Working deep into this muscle. Using your breath. Active in the thighs, the glutes. <sighs> Pulling the thighs in towards each other, internal rotation. Big inhale, exhale, sink a little bit deeper. <sighs> Sending that back heel back towards the back of the room. A lot of backs. <sighs> and grounding through that right hand, peeling the left up to the sky. Ringing out the internal organs. Sweeping that arm around, coming into our low lunge and our side bend, reaching the right arm over. Deep breaths. And swinging that arm before the face, coming into our skandasana, pointing the right toes up towards the ceiling, lifting the chest nice and high, maybe taking our bind. You can take it sitting down, it's even easier. Nice deep breath, fill those lungs, fill those lungs. Send oxygen to the brain and release. Taking that left leg across for the twist. Steady, slow breaths. Not forcing anything here, not pushing, just being, just letting ourselves be. This is our time to just be, to not really think about much. <sighs> and gently come back through center, taking that left leg over, scooting to the middle of the mat if we've moved. <sighs> Extending both legs long, maybe shaking them out a little bit, waking up the energy in there. Pointing the toes to the ceiling, lifting up nice and tall like there's a string pulling you through the crown of the head and folding over the legs, making sure the back is still nice, long and straight. Maybe we're here, maybe we're here, maybe we're all the way down, wherever we are, just wherever we feel this nice stretch. Finding length on the inhales and trying to fold a little bit deeper on the exhales. Two more breaths here. And exhale to gently come up. If you're not all the way down by the mat, scoot down a little bit more extending the arms in front and slowly roll onto the back. Letting the arms fall by the sides, soles of the feet come to the mat. We're gonna drop both of the knees to the left side and the right side, doing some windshield wipers. Maybe the hands come behind the head. 
going at your own pace, whatever it looks or feels like. Whenever we feel evened out, taking the knees back up to the ceiling, crossing that right ankle over the left knee, staying here or taking the legs into the chest for a little reverse pigeon. Coming back to the breath, quieting the mind, letting the thoughts come and go. One more hug, deep inhale, and exhale, gently release to switch sides. Pull the legs into the chest a little bit more and exhale, release. Kicking the feet up in the air a little bit, coming into happy baby. Wrapping peace fingers around big toes. Maybe we're holding onto the ankles or the outer edges of the feet. Finding a still happy baby or maybe having a little rock. Gently taking the soles of the feet in together and lovingly releasing the legs, hugging the knees into the chest. And finding our way up to a gentle seat. Now that we've moved around some of that stagnant energy, maybe released some tension, we are ready to go about our day. And I hope you enjoyed this few minute tension release. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, leave your thoughts down below, hit that subscribe button to never miss more daily yoga with Paige. And I will see you tomorrow.